Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we extended our... Well, we got a train on this line. Uh, these guys here. And... Then we extended the line uh, from Randgris out to Brule. I had to do a little bit of remodeling of Brule to get the station in where I wanted it. And then we are now going to be sending the line up into the mountains to head for Mos Eisley here. And then we'll probably have to wrap it around this direction as we head towards Dragon Bridge. And that's going to be a fairly long section. We'll see how that goes. All right, but as I started firing things up, we are getting warnings that we have trains that need to be replaced. And these are trains on the north-south backbone. And let's take a look at the finances for this. And it is making over 80 million a year. Well, it's been steadily ramping up. It's been making, in some cases are like over a hundred million in terms of revenue but in terms of profit you know after you factor in expenses it's down around 80 million per year very nice these trains are serving us pretty well and they're about as large a train as we can possibly get over here. So if I look at the replacements, I'm tempted to just keep these. Because I can't really think of anything. Because these are what? I think these were like TGV duplexes. Yeah, they're these guys. Almost 200 miles an hour. We're 223 passengers. I don't think we're going to see anything that... Well, I mean, we could always do something like this, but it's, it's going to be too big for the stations that we're using. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just go ahead and replace them with the same trains they have now. It's going to cost $146 million, but that'll pay back in a couple of years. So, no big deal. Alright, so with that resolved, let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to get this train up this hill to Mos Eisley. Because I am not thinking that we're going to be able to do this as a straight shot. Uh, we might. We just might. Okay, since we're going to be curving there, I want to take the inside track. Because we're going to cut kind of close to this road here. 140. Yeah. Yeah. Speed's not really going to be an object here. Once we start getting into these these segments of the track, the trains that we currently have on that line are going to be less useful because they are won't be able to get up to their top speed. So we may change up the train that we use. We'll have to see how it goes. All right. I think we might have to punch a tunnel there. Just to be able to maintain speed. Uh, 
this is where it's starting to get steep. But so far, it's been able to make that climb pretty effectively. Alright, now the question becomes, where will the station go? Let's make sure we set it up for the configuration that I like to use. Unfortunately, this is just a just a huge hill. Now I could do a sloped station. But even still, huh? There was a spot there where it want it would go in. But I don't think my track is gonna be able to get to it. Oh, I just saw a spot. There. See, my tracks are down here, and they need to get up there. There's no way that track is going to be able to make that climb. Not even close. Hmm. Not even close. Think about this one for a bit. Is there anything in here that even closely resembles anything approaching a flat spot? I don't think so. Could put it up here. Let's see if I gave it a curve. Thought I saw a spot. Terrain alignment collision, unable to align terrain. Well, 
Where was that? There. Now, if I were to say put both main street connections on there. We'd have to probably remodel the town a little bit, but you know, that's not something I'm adverse to. Now the question becomes, can the track get there? No. It cannot. Let's see, if I were to try to switch back this. So that it would cover more ground. You know what? We can delete the road. I don't care about the road right now. Let's just see if anything like this would even work if I... Could I ever actually get it out on the surface? No. might have to do is something I wasn't expecting to have to do this early. This is going to be a very slow piece of the track. If we uh, make a helix. Let's, uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what it does. And then what I might need to do is change this station up so that we do not have curvature on that side. And it works. Now, will the train that runs on this thing be able to make a profit? Who knows? 
This is a lot of extra time it's going to have to take. question would become should I make it that slow or should I, should I try to increase its speed I don't think there's really much choice there well, let's just put it in and let's just see how it works all right, now we gotta get the road back in. Uh, no. I came across here like let's see let's back that up a bit Still going to back that up a little bit more. Before coming across here, we're going to have to give that a bridge. like it should work okay let's get signals on there signal there and then let's signal we're gonna have to let's see can I diamond on this bridge it's not gonna give me like a collision alert or something no it's not okay good So from Brool, we can now add in. Oh, we gotta connect this to the road, right? But we can add it in anyway. And then you'll have to come back to Brool. On platform two. So, I 
This road can come up here and connect to that one, and this road can punch through there. Okay. That works. Where are the residents? Over here. Are they covered? You know what? They all are covered. We do not need a tram. Excellent. Okay. Did I still make that a slope station? I still did, and I think that was the only way that was ever going to work. But let me just make sure that I turn that slope off. For the future. Alright, so... We now need to head in the, in the direction of Dragon Bridge. So let's see what we're going to do with that. Because this is almost certainly going to tunnel. And we're not going to be able to emerge before we go under this big ridge line here. I'm kind of hoping this we can maybe keep it flat. Because I would like a really dramatic bridge here. And that's a really dramatic bridge. A little bit too dramatic. All right, we'll we'll have it sloped down. Okay. set up there and put some signals on it okay so now I don't have to worry about that Actually, let's go ahead and put some signals right there as we come out of the tunnel all right now we proceed over this bridge Actually, I'd like for it to come out on the surface over here. But I don't actually want it to slope upwards. At the very least, maintain level slope hmm actually let me just destroy this bridge backwards a little bit Yes, we can emerge on the surface there. All 
All right, and then you're gonna come through here. Okay. And see, there's still Dragon Bridge, and we need to start getting downhill and quickly. So, let's see. We were to start pushing down the hill. Let's see. Can we get down the hill here? Yes. come through there and you're still gonna be at too high an altitude oh auto save Get down to the ground. Can I get down to the ground somewhere? I can get down to the ground there. Oh, and I forgot to change the bridge. Go on, stop leading trees and delete bridge. There you go. Double track. We come in here and then we can figure out where to put the station. This is from Dragon Bridge, we are going to head to Junon there. And I'd like to kind of approach from this side. So the station needs to be able to send the track in that direction. But it looks like it's going to be underground the entire way. Unless... Unless... That's a surface station. That that's a pretty wild station right there. An elevated station. We're going to want platform length of this. Station height. Uh, as high as you can make it. Actually.
Okay. I think we would probably work with that. But even still, there's going to be another long section of tunnel. Unless we are able to get this station up here. And that can elevate the height of the bridge that comes into it. Hmm. I'd have to look into it, but we are out of the out of time on the episode. So that may be the solution we pursue there. We could remove this bridge again and then come into that station. We have options. Alright, but for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.